Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. That's an exercise based on spread triads. Spread triads contain the same notes as normal triads, a root third and fifth, but the notes are just spaced further apart, which gives them this really big open sound. Let's see what's going on. We start off with a G major seven arpeggio. And then we go to our first spread triad, which is here. So that's an E major spread triad. We've got the third in the bass, fret four in the E string. We've got the root in the middle, the E, fret two of the D string. And we have the fifth on the top, fret four of the G string, a B. So that's such a cool way of getting from a G to an E. Normally, we'd do this, G, E, which sounds like a really large jump. But here's the spread triad. So we only move one note on the bass. Here it is slowly. Next, we go to this A7 arpeggio to an F sharp chord. So normally we do this, A to F sharp. Big leap, but here we go, just one fret. And again, we get that really open sound from the spread triad. So here's the first four chords, G major, E major, a7, F sharp major. And then next we go to a B minor, another spread triad. This time the notes are root, fifth, minor third. Check out how smooth that movement is from the F sharp to the B. Not like this. Just slight movements. And then we move from a B minor to an A major. Again, there's the spread triad, which is third root fifth. Up to another B minor. This time it's minor third, root, fifth. Let's see the whole thing to that point. Next we're going to an E minor. So that's root fifth minor third. E, B, G. And then we go up to this D major. Up to a G major. Root fifth third. Two frets higher to an A major. And then D to finish. Here's the whole thing slowly. I'll be doing a full lesson on spread triads soon, so make sure you're subscribed so you can watch that one. You'll get the tab for this one on my Patreon page as well. If you've got any questions, just put them in the comments below, and I'll see you again soon.